Kia ora guys, Chrissy back with another reaction to Game of Thrones Season 3. So the last time on Game of Thrones we character hopped between pretty much all of our characters apart from Danny, uh, picking up where each one had left off. Arya has been found out by the Hound uh, as she was taken captive by uh, the Brotherhood. Brienne and Jamie, after a uh, little sword fight, have now been <laughs> captured by uh, those from House Bolton because uh, someone recognised Jamie. Marjorie is working her uh, womanly voodoo on Joffrey somehow um, and bringing them closer. Uh, Theon has been taken captive by I'm not sure who, they are torturing him. Uh, wanting to know why he uh, took why he took Winterfell. Um, probably most interesting of all, Bran. We finally uh, found out what is going on with Bran and his, uh, his seeing through the eyes of his wolf. He is a warg, able to see through the eyes of animals. Um, we we met a, another one who is with the wildlings, which is where um, you know we first heard of it. And he has met up with Georgian. Georgian, Georgian, I think his name is, uh, and his sister, who are um, allies of the Stark House um, from Reed, House of Reed, I think it is, and um, have uh, joined him on their journey to wherever, uh, because it was in their dream, in in this particular boy's dream, it was you know his purpose was to find Bran and help him. So. Yeah, there's a lot of little bits and pieces going on, um, and hopefully we'll get uh, some answers, um, which will then bring on a ton more questions, as usual. So we're going to get straight into Season 3, Episode 3, Walk of Punishment. We're on a boat. Oh, is this the funeral? Who that? gotta be hard though. Plonk. Fuck! <laughs> Come on, that's gotta be hard. That's way too far. <laughs> nice. The mountain was garrisoned across the river from it. We took the fight to him. He could not withstand us. I wanted to draw the mountain into the west, where we could surround him and kill him. I wanted him to chase us. I could have that head on a spike by now. Oh, God. I've seen this dude somewhere. He took hostages. Willem and Martin Lannister are 14 years old. How many men did you lose? 208. Buff Jesus. The we need our men more than Tywin needs his. This is King Rob. Oh God. Oh God. What has he done? What has he concocted? Oh no, that's terrifying. Okay. <laughs> you gonna sit at the head of the table? <laughs> Fuck! It's antagonizing. Do not antagonize Tywin, please. What news of Jamie? We are trying, my lord. Try harder. Rob Stark and most of his banner men are in River Run. Bruce Bolton holds Harrenhal, which would seem to make him Lord of Harrenhal. <laughs> oh, Varys. The Lord of Harrenhal will make a worthy suitor for the widow Arryn. Lady Arryn and I have known each other since we were children. It would make Lord Baelish acting Lord of the Vale. You'll leave for the Eyrie as soon as possible. And wow. Can't have Catelyn, so I have a sister instead. Have her sister instead. 
the royal wedding, the most expensive event in living memory. Not a good time to leave the crown's finances unattended. Which is why I'm naming you new master of coin. I'm quite good at spending money. Here, here. Fuck off. Help you please. All my life I've been hearing Jamie Lannister. What a brilliant swordsman. He was slower than I expected. <laughs> Maybe you were as good as people said. Once. When we make camp tonight, you'll be raped. Shit. To be wise not to resist. Would I? If you fight them, they will kill you. Do you understand? If you were a woman, you wouldn't resist. If I was a woman, I'd make them kill me. Oh, God, I didn't think of that. Well, if I had a proper forge, I could make it good as new. Why like... are you helping him? Okay. These woods aren't safe for Ned Stark's daughter. You're a little twat. I like to fight up close. Why? So you can kiss him. Oh, fuck. I'm staying. I baked some brown bread for the innkeep, and she said she never had better. Well, actually, I'm quite glad that that he's staying there. I'm not Stark of Winter Hell. Winter Fell. You sure? Winter Hell. I like it. Aww. It's a wolf. Yes, it is. That was really sweet. Oh yeah, I'm glad he's staying. Where where these two are gonna go, I don't think he's gonna be able to survive there. Hey, hot pie. It's really good. That was really sweet. Wait for me, little cat. He said, and I'll come back to you. And I would sit at this window waiting. I wonder how many times did Bran or Rickon stare across the moors of Winterfell waiting for me to return. I will never see them again. They could be in hiding. <laughs> Rob believes they're alive. And he must go on believing. You must remain strong for him. Rob Stark's wife. That was really good. Um, funny to be able to see her kind of... Release some of that tension. <laughs> oh. Oh. Holy fuck. It's like a spiral. No men. He said there was dead crows. There was. Oh god. If they'd been How many men were here? About 300. You know what those men are now. The best fighting men are dead. God, we're gonna see... I haven't forgotten about Benjamin. Are we ever gonna see him again? He knows Castle Black's defences better than any of us. Finally going to war. When I give the signal, hit them in the night. <laughs> we'll meet again. Aye. I always see your signal. When it's time, I'm going to light the biggest fire the North has ever seen. I want to see that big fire. This is Craster's place. Keep your eyes where they belong. They're not for you. You feed that pig better than you feed us. Ah, pig's got value to me. Go tell us you can bite down on a rag or she can bite down on my fist. Jesus Christ. Women. Now why don't you dine on him? Well, look at him. He's a walking feast. Oh god, gross. <laughs> Can we like kill this guy bef before the episode is up? Like fucking kill him, like gut him. <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it? It's a boy. <laughs> Fuck that baby's done for. I have like a small, small hope that somehow Sam's going to make sure it doesn't get killed. But I know better than to have any hope in this show. <laughs> Come to release him. If you can't ride, we don't stand a chance. I can ride. Ride east. Follow the rising sun. We're not in the Iron Islands. Go. Okay, where the fuck are they then? Who took him captive? 
You refuse to tell me where you're going. I don't know yet. Okay. We haven't seen her either. F oh, yeah. You're abandoning me. I will never abandon you. I am sworn to serve you. Then serve me. Why can't they do another spell? Give me another son. Yeah. I cannot. You don't have the strength. It would kill you. I want you. Where's his wife? There is another way, a better way. You told me your magic requires a king's blood. I'm the one true king. But there are others with your blood in their veins. What is she asking of him? Are we in Estopor? Finally? <gasps> no! Give me your water. This man has been sentenced to death. We can find cell swords in Pentos and Mir. Is it we already, Sir Barristan? Don't get jealous now, Jora. Not the blood of innocence. Have you ever seen a war where innocents didn't die by the thousands? There's a beast in every man, but the unsullied are not men. If you buy them, the only men they'll kill are those you want dead. When your brother Rhaegar led his army into battle, men died for him because they believed in him or because they'd been bought at a slaver's auction. Yeah, it's, it's hard. Like, both have a point. I wish I'd known him. She was not the last dragon. Yeah, they both have a point, you know, like both make good soldiers just in different ways. I want to buy them all. But that's Why do I get a feeling that she can actually understand him? There are 8,000 unsullied. Master Grezin says they cannot sell half trained boys. Easy Master Krasnus says you cannot afford this. Mm -hmm. Your ship will buy you 100 unsullied. It the gold you have left flavor. is worth 10. The Dothraki you have with you are not worth what they cost to feed. Krasnus will give you three unsullied for all of them. Master Krasnus asks how you propose to pay. I have dragons. I'll give you one. Danny! We'll win the throne with dragons, not slaves, Your Grace. Oh god, that's a don't don't question me look. They want the biggest one. Done. They say ain't happening. That ain't happening. I'll take you as well. Now, if you ever question me in front of strangers again, to be advising someone else. Point taken. You have a name? This one's name is Masande, Your Grace. You belong to me now. It is your duty to tell me the truth. You know that I'm taking you to war. You may fall sick, you may be killed. Valar Mogulis. Yes. All men must die, but we are not men. Valar Mogulis. I know that phrase. Keep the royal Oh, legends. Patrick. I'm surprised you're surprised. Roz, you dirty bitch. <laughs> Pod. Pod. Stop looking at those tits. After a long consultation, I finally found a suitable reward. Have you ever been with a woman? Oh, my lord. Jenna specializes in first time. Murray, quite the spear handler herself. Oh, Tyrion. Kay. Oh, Is God. Famous. Oh, my goodness. In certain circles. Oh, thank God she's my wearing underwear. She's here to thank you for being a thoroughly respectful fellow. <laughs> she's bendy. Be back in time for my supper. <laughs> Oh dear. Let me guess. He's stealing it? Worse, he's borrowing it. What's wrong with that? I can't afford to pay it back. Brown owes millions to my father. Not my father, I'm worried about. It's the Iron Bank of Brothers. We owe them tens of millions. If we fail to repay these loans, the bank will fund our enemies. Ah, the return of the conquering hero. Oh, I wouldn't take it, my lord. What did you do to them? Lots of things. Only they weren't paid. These ladies enjoyed him so much they gave him the time for free. Podrick! We're going to need details. Yes. You got a wicked tongue, is that it? Is he just as bendy? <laughs> oh fuck! Oh god. Right! Oh shit. I don't know why I'm so I don't know why I'm so anxious about what him wanting to get away. <laughs> oh no! No! Oh. Take off his pants. 
Oh God. I'm gonna fuck you into the dirt. No, no. Oh, thank God, thank God. Oh God. You little bastard. Zonk. Nice shot. Who is this? Come, my lord. You're a long way from home. And winter is coming. I'm confused. I have a feeling that I've like seen him before. Maybe I've seen a pit. I don't know. I'll take the big bitch first. When she's good and wet, you lot can finish her off. <laughs> take her over there where it's dark. <laughs> I've been with a woman like this. Her father's Lord Selwyn Tar. Every sapphire in Westeros was mined on Tar. Lord Selwyn would pay his daughter's weight in sapphires if she's returned to him. Bring her back here! Yes, my lord! Wow. Your father, he'd pay your weight in gold to get you back. You'll be a rich man till the end of your days. They would too. I don't know. Would they give money to get Jamie back? Would Tywin give money to get Jamie back? Or would he rather just... Would he rather just kill them all? Fighting for a winning cause is far more rewarding. I'm telling Sir Jamie from the tree. Come on, man. Suppose you'll be wanting something to eat. Think we've got a spare partridge on the fire. I do like partridge. Will this work as a table, my lord? Okay, what the fuck is going on? I'm a stump. You think you're the smartest <laughs> man there is. And everyone alive has to bow and scrape and lick your boots. My father. And if you get in any trouble, all you've got to do is say, my father. Yeah, it's true. Have you got something to say? Whoa, 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 whoa. You're nothing like your daddy. Your daddy ain't here. <sighs> oh, fuck. No, not a space. Yeah, it's pure. Remember? <laughs> I was just kidding. <gasps> it's an odd music choice at the end there. I was just kidding. All those episodes ago, <laughs> when I said to just cut his hand off. Oh my god, I did not see that coming at all. Fuck that, that was his whole hand too. Oh my god, I'm gonna see that again. <laughs> oh my god, that was, that was a hell of a surprise. <laughs> I'm so sorry, it's not funny. It's just... Yeah, that was, that was... That was fully his hand. Holy shit. Well, there goes him as this... As this, you know, all-time amazing swordsman. He's fucked now. His right hand, is he right-handed? Oh my god. Yee. Perhaps taking his eye would have been better. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. Wow. I was surprised. There was like a little bit of me that wondered if he was gonna like try and stop those guys from you know raping Brienne and I'm glad that he did though seeing as how you know he thought Jamie thought that he was like you know bringing these guys into the fold basically um, but they weren't stupid enough to fall for it after this are they still going to try and do something to her Oh, it sucks. It fucking sucks. I don't know how the hell they're going to get out of this. I, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at, a, a, at the... I'm just looking at a screenshot of Jamie with his hand cut off, a bit, just being cut, and it's like the look on his face. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for laughing. 
Okay, so let's just start at the beginning of the episode. So we we opened up with um, Catelyn at her father's funeral. Um, as I, I tried to say during the um, well during this what well, after the scene happened, it was actually nice to see um, her kind of break down uh, over her boys. Um, a lot of it's been focused, you know, it's been focused a lot on uh, Sansa and Arya, because, I mean, obviously because they're captured, um, but she hasn't really, I mean, she's obviously worried about her boys, but this was just purely for her boys. And even through this whole thing, you know, letting Jamie go and all of that, she's been, she's had a very stoic uh, output, uh, she's had a very stoic facade. Um, and she's needed to, just like her uncle has said, you know, she needs to be strong for um, for Rob and she needs Rob to continue to believe that the boys are um, like in hiding. And she needs to keep up that facade for his sake. Uh, but it was nice that she could, that she was able to just kind of, you know, let that out and, and it's heartbreaking. I'm glad that uh, like they hadn't heard about these charred corpses you know of the two orphan boys I don't think I, I, I would particularly like um, the reaction if she'd heard about that okay so after that we get okay so Tyrion is now taking care of the uh, king uh, the kingdom's finances interesting not a job that he wanted now that um, Baelish is the Lord of Harrenhal that gives him uh, like the standing to wed or to make a, 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 a match with um, Kat's sister which will give um, Baelish like a higher uh, you know even more titles which uh, uh, is he just in this whole thing just for titles upon titles upon titles? Why the fuck would you want to marry buddy? You know, this this Lissa Aaron. She is bonkers and she bloody breastfeeds her fucking twelve year old son. <laughs> or however old he is. Um And it's Kat's sister. You know, like I was saying, yeah, you, know, you can't have um Kat, so you know, you have the sister instead. Good luck with that. That's, that's for fucking sure. The hell she's gonna take that? Yeah, you know, she doesn't trust any of those bastards. Who knows? Then we come to Arya and uh, Gendry and Hot Pie. It didn't work out like I thought. I thought they were gonna be in a lot of trouble, but um, the Brotherhood kind of they've taken them prisoner, but they're like free prisoners if you know what I mean. Um, they can't escape, but they um, but they're not like bound and gagged or anything. Um, the Hound looks like he has been. Where they've gone off to, I'm not too sure, but Gendry is, you know, helping, um, doing what he does best. You know, he's, he's a, a, an armor, he's a smith. Um, but they've gone off somewhere and Hot Pie has stayed behind, which I'm glad he has. When he gave Arya that, uh, that bread shaped as a wolf, it's such a very sweet moment. Um, I'm glad that he's staying behind where he can be relatively safe, um, you know, He's not like Gendry and Arya. Um, I'm glad he can stay here. So beyond the wall, Mance, they come across um, the camp left behind by the uh, the brothers, the, the, the Black Brothers. No bodies, just lots of dead horses in, uh, in a pattern, which is just not creepy at all. So now they are taking a group of people to the wall. John is going to the wall. He's going to be. Able, he's going to tell them how to get past their defences. Um, yeah. With uh, Commander Mormont and his and the remaining um, Night's Watch coming up, coming back upon uh, Cresta and his daughters. Um, one of them obviously giving birth to a boy. What's that? Um, Gil. I've forgotten her name, Gilly. Uh, and Sam watching that. A small part of me hopes that Sam's going to do something to stop that child being taken. But again, it's like, there's no point in hoping for anything in this show because 
<laughs> because you get your hope dashed against the rocks. But yeah, I, I want him to die so bad. Like, like really bad. Craster, that is. Not Sam. Theon. Where the hell is he? And who is this guy that has saved him? I kept getting him mixed up with, like, Podrick. He, he looks very similar to Podrick. Um, who, obviously, is a sex wizard because, you know, those those um, women didn't, didn't take his money. Good for him. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, where is he? And why is this guy so intent on helping him, calling him my lord? So, he works for Yara. He said that he, they weren't in the Iron Islands anymore, so his father didn't do this to him. Like, I, I, I briefly wandered or pondered at, uh, at the beginning of this um, recording. So, yeah, I have no idea who has taken him. I, would, I wouldn't put it past me that they were actually Ironborn that, that did that to him. They didn't seem to like him very much. But he has been saved. There was a very small skerrick of me that was worried for him when he got captured. Um, man or woman, I don't want to see either anybody forced like that, like he was about to be. Um, you know, it's it's aside from the whole act of it, it's the pleading in the voice that that gets to me. Um, and as much as I can't stand Theon, I don't want that happening to him, to anybody, Brienne included. Um, but yeah, I want to know more about him. Is this, is he going to start, I, I don't even want to say it. I don't even want to say that is this going to be some kind of fucking redemption. I don't even want to go there. Not with him, not at this point. What the hell is going on with Stannis and Melisandre? She took off. She's not like, um... She's not uh, babying him as much as she was before, you know. And as I was as I was gonna say uh, before, he Stannis himself said it. Why not just make another son to kill Joffrey? Obviously, she said because he's not strong enough. Uh, but there was another way, a better way. He needed the blood of the king. Obviously, he's not the only one whose blood that is. So he's talking about a son. Does he have a son? I mean, he's, he's married, right? Who the hell is his wife that he wants to keep fucking this chick? Which is pretty normal for fucking Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, so what is that? What is their whole plan there? Where is she off to? Where is she taking a boat to? It's almost become like a fanatic. And she's playing him to the last... She's playing him like a fiddle. Danny. So we finally got to see Danny and Estepore wanting to buy all of the Unsullied, offering up her strongest dragon, her black dragon, who, um, what, obviously this deal isn't going to go through. I already know that. Um, I mean, it, it might go through. <laughs> I, I shouldn't say that. It might go through, but I know she gets her dragon back. Well, I know she has her dragon come the end of the se uh, season, so obviously something happens. But to offer them her up dragons like that, and it makes, it makes me wonder, you know, it does make me wonder what happens to her dragons. Um, for those of you that know, those of you who are aware that I do know how this, um, this um, series ends, you know, I do know what happens to Danny at, in the la very last episode because it caused such a big controversy it was everywhere um so and I do know she has her black dragon um Drogon and but I don't know anything about her other two dragons does she give those dragons away does do they die I don't know um obviously I'll find out as the series goes on but uh that is definitely something that I, I have no idea about. Though I do know she does keep her black dragon, Dragon. That is the strongest dragon, which the guy is referring to here. So, 
her um, agreeing to give up her dragon, something is going to happen. I hope she takes those dragons and, and burns this place to the ground because it's fucking horrid. And the Walk of Punishment, um, name of the episode, and it was all those slaves lined up on like crucifixes or crosses or whatever it was. Yeah, horrible. Wanting to die because at least in death they have no master. But yeah, the episode was oh, really good. The ending was amazing. <laughs> it was a big shock. Um, considering the last episode that we just watched kind of like ended just like that and, and I was expecting so much more, whereas this one it left me pretty satisfied at the end there. And that sounds really bad. It left me satisfied because the ending was such a big shock. Not because Jamie had his hand cut off. The poor boy. Um, but yeah. But we're going to leave it at that for today. Thank you for watching with me. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you next time for more Game of Thrones. Bye.